What's up YouTube, it's Metal Metal Anthony here with another one for you. Today, I'm making rebar cages for my house. So we've already completed a couple of them. They're sitting right here. They're not perfect, but they don't really have to be. They're gonna get thrown in the concrete, you'll never see them. And because I'm a hammer and everything's a nail, we're welding them together. So I'm gonna show you the process we're going through to make these things. They're not coming out perfect. I don't expect them to. So basically, we're making these rebar cages to go ahead and slip down into these concrete forms these things are called sono tubes, and these platforms on the bottom are called big foots. That's what she's my daddy. So basically, we're gonna go ahead and drill ourselves out a 30 inch hole, and we're gonna slip this 28 inch big foot and this 12 inch sono tube down into the hole, and then we're gonna take our rebar cage and slip it inside of that. And then once the concrete guy shows up with the pump truck, we're going to go ahead and throw this big foot on top, use it as a funnel, let it fill up with the rebar cage sitting there touching the bottom, which is a big no-no. And then I'm, I'm going to grab a hook I have, and I'm just going to pull it up and let the cement that goes up underneath it and keep it up off the ground. So if I did these all the time, I would make myself a jig. I'm only doing 80 of these. So what I'm doing is I'm simply starting at the bottom here. These rings are not perfect. I buy these two formed rings. You can get them at most concrete suppliers. I'm just setting it in there like that. And we're just gonna MIG weld them. It's quickest. I'm using hard wire. I'm using 7525 shielding gas. So let's go ahead and uh, zip one of these together real fast. Basically, I'm just gonna eyeball this. I'm not gonna get too technical with it. Like I said, this does not need to be perfect. centers itself. It's a circle. Now the only thing I really have to worry about is the heights and right now it looks like we're pretty good all the way down. Everything looks pretty straight. Pretty happy with it. It's not perfect but it doesn't need to be. Now that I got it all tacked up, I'm going to do a little bit more welding on it. I'm running at about 20 volts and about 250 inches per minute. This is 035 wire. It's a little bit big for this, but like I said, it, it doesn't really matter that much. Should you do this? I don't know. It doesn't matter. So we'll go ahead and bring you back when it's time to pour. All right, so the bad news is I forgot to film while I was pouring. I'm not a concrete guy. I was a little excited that day. But the good news is everything turned out great. 
Here's our Sano tubes. Our rebar is inside here. It's sitting about three to four inches below the top, uh, roughly. Um, so we went ahead and we dropped our cages in, all of these in our Sano tubes. We poured them and then we ripped off the rest of the paper after they were done drying that was above surface level. Over here, we hit a layer of rock at about three feet. The Sano tubes were about four foot long. So I pulled the Sano tubes out of the ground. I threw the cage in and we just went ahead and poured these footings to the auger size. But that's how it turned out, guys. I'm pretty excited to build my steel deck on top of these. These each individually should be able to support up to 17,000 pounds. At least that's according to Pisano tube. That's according to Bigfoot. And these, I would imagine, maybe even a little bit more. There's a lot more concrete in these two. But anyway, guys, if you like what you've seen here today, like, subscribe, share. If you didn't, remember to go fuck yourself.